Till now, we have seen all two-dimensional geometry entities. How to create point, edges, rectangles, circles, arcs, ellipses, etc. All these figures are basic geometric entities and all are two-dimensional. What are we going to do with two-dimensional entities when we do CFD? They are not really useful unless we convert them into some three-dimensional models. We have to use multiple sketches to create a three-dimensional model. So, we are now going to move from some boring and simple two-dimensional shapes to some three-dimensional models. This is definitely much more fun than just creating two-dimensional sketches. All the sketches we studied till now have to be later on converted to three-dimensional bodies. This can be done in the module called 3D CAD. In 3D CAD, we convert sketches to bodies by using concepts like extruding, revolving, lofting or sweeping. Once we create bodies, we can add or remove material from it. When we actually assign materials to a three-dimensional body, they are ready to be used as CAD model for CFD. Let us have an overview of the different features for creating bodies. The first feature is of extrusion. This feature projects a sketch along a direction. It is like stretching a 2D sketch in a third direction to form a solid 3D body. Revolve is another feature used to create a body. This feature revolves a sketch around an axis. The revolution fills material to create a body. Another feature is the loft feature. This feature fills a space between two sketches to form a solid or sheet body. The swept feature works on the principle of creating a sweep using two sketches. We will discuss all these features in detail as we now start to learn how to create three-dimensional CAD models in Star CCM+. First, let us take the extrusion feature. This is a projection operation which creates a solid body from a 2D sketch. The feature can be used to create either an extruded body or an extrusion cut. There are a few requirements of this operation. The sketch used for extrusion must contain only closed loops with no free edges. The sketch entities must not overlap. For sketches which contain two closed profiles, one profile must be entirely closed by the other. Let us see a demonstration of this extrusion feature. Let us now look at the revolve feature in detail. This operation takes a sketch and revolves it around an axis. During revolution, whatever volume is enclosed is converted into a solid body. Again, there are some requirements of this feature as well. The sketch must contain only closed loops with no free edges. Sketches must not overlap. You cannot define more than two closed profiles for a revolve feature. Let us see this feature in a quick demo. The loft feature is another feature used to create bodies from sketches. For this operation, we have to take multiple sketches. Then, the loft feature fits a surface between these sketches. There are requirements of this feature as well. Each profile sketch must contain a single closed loop to define the shape of the loft. The number of points that lie on the closed loop must be the same for each sketch, unless for two consecutive sketches, one loop has no points, such as a circle or ellipse. Sketches can lie on sketch planes that are oriented in any direction but no two consecutive sketches can lie on the same plane. 
you cannot create a lofted feature that passes through itself at any point. Usually, we should avoid a drastic change in the cross section of the sketches used for loft. Swept is another feature which creates a solid body. The sweep feature simply sweeps a 2D sketch along a path we input. The volume swept is converted to a solid body. For the sketch that is swept, we use one sketch and for path we use another sketch. Opposite to swept sketch is the swept cut feature. Only difference is that, instead of adding material to volume swept in a sweep, it is removed in swept cut. There are many requirements of a swept feature. You can only use swept cuts on solid bodies. The profile for sweeping must contain only closed loops. For sketch entities containing two closed profiles, one profile must be entirely enclosed by the other. You cannot define more than two closed profiles for a sweep feature. Sketch entities must not intersect. The path can be either open or closed, but must be defined by a single loop. The path may be located anywhere in relation to the profile. However, the position of the path affects the creation of the body. For predictable results, it is recommended that the starting point of the path intersects the profile itself. The path must not allow the created feature to pass through itself at any point. The path must avoid curves with radical changes in direction. When we are dealing with bodies in star CCM+, there are some fundamental geometric definitions. Let us review those here. The first fundamental entity is the face. A face is a bounding or surrounding surface of a body. These are by default created whenever we create or modify a body. We can also modify faces using 3D CAD view. The next fundamental entity is the edge. This is a line which joins two adjacent faces in a body. Again, this is a default creation when we create or modify body and we can also modify edges in 3D CAD. If we convert a 3D body to geometry parts, then these edges are defined as curves. We will see this conversion process in detail in slides to come later. The third fundamental entity is the free edge. A free edge is an edge with lines on only one face. They are depicted by green color in the view. If we have two sheet bodies and a free edge or green edge is seen between them, it is an indication that they are not connected and we need to take corrective action to connect them. Now, one by one, we will see operations on faces. These operations are used to modify faces in order to create our final CAD model for CFD. First, let us see how to hide a face. Why do we need to hide a face? If we want to see some inner parts of CAD body which are not visible because of outer parts. Using this operation tool, we can hide a face on body and select bodies or parts that are positioned within other bodies. Next operation is to delete a face. This will remove faces from the CAD model. The extend surface operation is used to extend or elongate an existing face or free edge. If there are unwanted holes in the CAD model, which are not required in the CFD model, how should we avoid those holes? There is a tool for that which automatically fills up unwanted holes in the CAD model. This tool creates a surface from an existing perimeter free edge. 
the new surface created is automatically merged into the sheet body creating a complete surface. There is one more tool which is known as bridge surfaces. As the name suggests, the purpose of this tool is to create a sheet body between two sets of edges. You must have heard about heat exchangers before. Heat exchangers are commonly used in process and chemical industry. As they commonly occur in industry, their CFD analysis is also very popular. Fin heat exchanger is a type of heat exchanger. As shown in the figure, a fin heat exchanger consists of arrays of fins which enhance the heat exchange from attached part to surrounding air. If we decide to do CFD analysis of such a fin heat exchanger, the first step in that is to create the 3D CAD model of this heat exchanger. Now, looking at this fin heat exchanger, it looks to be a very complex task. Look at the number of fins we have. How are we going to create so many of such fins which look similar to one another? One can create them one by one. This will take huge amount of time. We can copy them one by one. But again, we have to give new copy position one by one. This will also be a time consuming process. Is there any easier method to create such repetitive geometries? The pattern concept can be used here to save a lot of time. Let us see the pattern concept in detail. What are patterns? Patterns are a way to create any geometric entity which is repetitive. This tool will produce a series of identical bodies at positions you want from an original body. The original body is called as seed body. The first type of pattern is the straight pattern. This will form identical bodies along a straight line with predefined pitch. A reverse tool of the pattern is the pattern cut. This pattern, instead of adding material, removes material in the identical bodies created. Other features of this tool are same as the pattern. What if we have two faces and want to merge them to form a single face? Then we can use the fillets tool, which blends two faces together. This tool creates a smooth curve between faces. A tool similar to fillet is the chamfer tool. The chamfer tool blends two faces together. But instead of creating smooth curve, it will cut off the corner to create a flat surface. Till now, we have seen sketches, 3D CAD and various operations to create and modify bodies. All these tools have to be used one by one to modify a body. But what if we have to randomly change the shape and size of already created body later on in the CFD process? This will disturb the body as well as all bodies which are related to the body to be modified. Can we somehow change an existing body or part on the go without affecting the entire CAD process? Well, Star CCM Plus has such a facility which is known as Design Parameter. Let us now learn what this Design Parameter feature is and how to use it. 